Today I'm going to demonstrate how to set up your PowerCost Series Cloud Connector using the Cloud Connector Setup Wizard. I suggest you watch this video entirely, then go and set up your Cloud Connector afterwards. So let's get started. I'm going to demonstrate how to set up your Cloud Connector using a Wi-Fi connection to your router. A Cloud Connector setup on a Wi-Fi connection allows you the flexibility to place the Cloud Connector closer to your meter location if you have low signal strength due to distance to your meter or barriers in between. I have everything I need already in front of me. I have my cloud connector and meter sensor ready. Prepare your meter sensor by removing the plastic tab that breaks the battery connection or install the battery into your sensor so that it's ready to pair to the cloud connector when necessary. You could ignore the status light on the meter sensor after installing the battery until it's actually on a working meter. I've also got my cloud connector power adapter plugged in. Before you set up your cloud connector, you'll have to register an Energy Cloud account at energycloud.powercostmonitor.com. Click on the Energy Cloud logo, then click on sign up or sign in if you already have created your account. On the sign up page, fill out all the required fields, then click register. I already have my account set up, so I'm just going to click sign in. After you register, you'll land on the Energy Cloud welcome page. If you're setting up a second cloud connector on your Energy Cloud account for your cottage or perhaps a rental property, you won't see this welcome page, but you can get to the Cloud Connector Setup Wizard by clicking on the Settings icon in your Energy Cloud account. Then click on Set Up New Device. Now that we're back on the welcome page, you can choose your desired connection type by clicking on either Set Up with Ethernet or Set Up with Wi-Fi. I'm setting up using a Wi-Fi connection, so I'm clicking on Set Up with Wi-Fi. This will bring you into the Cloud Connector Setup Wizard. The setup requirements are your home Wi-Fi network name and the exact Wi-Fi password for your network. You'll also need a power outlet for the Cloud Connector power adapter. So let's run through the Setup Wizard. Step one, choose the location for your Cloud Connector. You can also set up your Cloud Connector at your computer and move it later if you prefer. Step two, plug the power adapter into an outlet. Step three, press and hold the cloud connector button and insert the power cable. When the status light comes on solid, let go of the button. The cloud connector will now reboot and the status light will start flashing, then settle on a distinct double flash pattern. When the status light's double flashing, the cloud connector is broadcasting its own Wi-Fi network that we're going to connect our computer to just for initial cloud connector Wi-Fi setup. Step four, when the status light begins to double flash, click next. My cloud connector is double flashing. I'm going to click next. Now you have to connect your computer to the cloud connector network. I'm using a Mac, so I'm going to my network list on the top of the screen. If you're using a Windows computer, you'll find your network list down on the bottom right toolbar. I'm just waiting for my cloud connector network to appear. This can take 30 to 40 seconds and you may have to refresh your list a couple of times. There's my cloud connector, so I'm going to connect to it. When you are connected to the cloud connector network, you are no longer connected to the internet. This is normal. You'll be connecting back to your Wi-Fi network after the setup is complete. Now that my computer is connected to the Cloud Connector network, I'm going to click Next. We now land on the Wi-Fi setup page where you can choose your Wi-Fi network and enter your Wi-Fi password. If you don't see your network at the top of the list, click the drop-down list and find yours. Mine's at the top of the list, so I'm now going to enter in my password. Keep in mind your network password is case sensitive, so if there's any capital letters, you must enter them in as capitals. Once you get your password entered in, click Save. Your cloud connector is now going to reboot and attempt to connect to your Wi-Fi network. The cloud connector status light will begin flashing fast when it's attempting to connect to your Wi-Fi, changing to slow flashing when it's connecting to the Energy Cloud servers, then solid when a full connection is established. Now that my cloud connector is connected to my network, I'm going to connect my computer back to my Wi-Fi network. Then I'll click the close this window button. So now I'm going to connect back to my Wi-Fi network. Now that I'm connected, I'm going to click on close this window. 
Once the cloud connector is connected to the Energy Cloud servers, this will change to connection successful. Then we'll be redirected to link your sensor page. To link your meter sensor to the cloud connector, press and hold the button on the side of the cloud connector and let go when the status light comes back on solid. Now press the sensor button until the status light comes on or break the battery connection momentarily. This has the same effect as pressing the button. I'm using a sensor on a meter for this video. You can press the button on your sensor that is beside you or go to your meter sensor at your electricity meter if you already have it installed. When the meter sensor pairing is successful, the status light on the cloud connector will go off, then only flash briefly when a meter sensor transmission is received. When the setup wizard detects a meter sensor is connected, the setup wizard will then redirect you to the meter sensor installation page. If you need to set up your meter sensor on your electricity meter, click on the meter sensor that resembles yours, then follow the installation steps in the setup wizard. My sensor is already installed on my test meter, so I'll click on sensor already installed. I'm now redirected to setup is complete. My cloud connector is online. My sensor is online. I'm now going to click on take me to my dashboard. Now that I'm at my dashboard, I want to check my sensor signal strength. I have four bars. That's perfect. My sensor battery is good. I have a real time reading and I've also got a temperature from the sensor. If after installing your meter sensor on your electricity meter, you can't get perfect signal strength after 10 minutes of runtime, you should then move your cloud connector to a location in your home that is closer to your meter. After your cloud connector meter and sensor is fully connected, go to your profile, fill out all the required fields, then click save. Now go to your device settings page and fill out all the required fields. On the device settings page, it's important that you set your meter KH to match your meter. If the KH is not set correctly, you will not see accurate meter readings. To verify the KH of your meter, look on the face of your meter for either KH, KS, or KT, then enter this number in the device settings. Most digital meters are KH 1.0. Most disc meters are KH 7.2. If you have a GE digital meter with a KH of 10 and it has a KS or KT of 1.0, set your Energy Cloud KH to 1.0. Now that we are back at our dashboard, I'm going to re-verify that my meter sensor signal strength is good. My meter sensor battery is good. I have a temperature reading for my sensor and I have a real-time reading. Now that I've set up my cloud connector, it's time for you to go run the wizard and set up your cloud connector. For more information about our products, visit us at powercostmonitor.com. Thank you for choosing Blue Line Innovations.